Today it's all about the silicone molds. Eight different silicone molds from eight different companies. How much each one costs, where it came from, shipping times, the quality of the silicone mold, how the concrete jar looks, what I like, what I didn't like, and my overall favorite. Oh, and at the end, I have a nice surprise just for you. Stick around, this one is going to be fun. Let's go. Hi, my name is Jay Catalano, and before I begin, I need to tell you that aside from two gifts from two of the vendors, which I will share with you later, I pay full price for each one of these silicone molds because I wanted all things to be as equal as possible. My only criteria was I wanted a cylinder shaped mold around three inches high. Some had pretty close to what I asked for and others were either a bit bigger or smaller. We're gonna do this alphabetically. AliExpress Baby Zoo Store. The main reason I chose a vendor from AliExpress is because many people inquire about purchasing molds from there and wonder, is it safe? There are many vendors on AliExpress and I chose Baby Zoo Store because as of this recording, they have 1,593 followers, 2,251 people who love them, and a 94.9% .9 positive feedback score. Their silicone mold is not technically for cement, rather, it's for resin, but that doesn't stop anyone from using their molds for that purpose. And here is the silicone mold that traveled all the way from China and took 12 days to arrive. It stands at a little over three inches in height and a little over three inches in length. It is a soft silicone that seems fair in quality and easy to use and clean and very similar to the molds that are found on Amazon. Here are my concrete vessels. As you can tell, they look great and they seem solid. The thickness of my concrete jar is a half centimeter. And so overall, I really like how this came out. But how much did this silicone mold cost? Thankfully, the shipping was free. And so I paid a total of $15.39. Now there are a couple of things I wasn't crazy about. One, the package arrived in a plastic envelope. That's it. It arrived safely and wasn't damaged at all, but there was no box or anything to protect my silicone mold. Now, I don't know if they do that for everything they ship, but that wasn't very prudent on their part. Naturally, I would be concerned about that in the future, no matter if it's shipped from China or around the corner. The other thing is I feel the silicone is slightly on the thin side. It's definitely not a deal breaker because the cost is low, but it is something of concern. What did I like? Let's be honest, the cost. The cost is great and the site is fairly easy to navigate. Not to harp on how it was shipped to me, but I did have a few chat messages with them at Baby Zoo store and shared my concerns. They responded pretty quickly and seemed to understand which made me feel better. And you don't have to shop there. You can choose from the hundreds of vendors that sell silicone molds on the site. As long as you do your research, I can't imagine everyone ships in a plastic bag. And if you are concerned beforehand, you can contact your vendor of choice and inquire about their shipping methods. So in my opinion, you shouldn't have too many reservations ordering from AliExpress because they are a reliable place to buy products at a cheaper price. In fact, AliExpress is part of the Alibaba Group, which is listed on the New York Stock Exchange and has a market valuation of $300 billion. Let's move on. Wait a minute. If you think this video is inspirational, creative, educational, with a little bit of entertainment, please subscribe to this channel and hit that like button. It would really help me out a lot. Thanks. Amazon V Turbo Way. These Amazon silicone molds are a fan favorite of many newbie cement jar makers. They have hundreds of reviews with a 4.5 star rating, and I had to add this to the list because it was my first silicone mold, which I used quite a lot, and honestly, I love it. Like the AliExpress silicone mold, their silicone is for resin and not technically for cement. But who cares? I tried to contact them from V Turbo Way and didn't get a response. However, I believe this silicone mold traveled from a designated Amazon facility, which was ultimately shipped from China. This silicone mold is 2.95 inches in height and 2.95 inches in length. It is a soft silicone that is slightly thicker than the AliExpress silicone mold, and it seems to be good quality. The silicone mold is easy to use, and it's easy to clean. Here are my concrete vessels. As you can tell, they look very similar to the AliExpress jars and very solid. The thickness of the jar is a half centimeter and is almost identical to the AliExpress jars, but ever so slightly smaller. How much did this silicone mold cost? Well, I'm an Amazon Prime member, so I got this silicone mold for $15.99, which included shipping 
and it took three days to get here. Now, there is one thing I wasn't crazy about. I would have loved to been able to contact them directly from their website to see if there are any discounts for buying multiple silicone molds, but it appears their website has been abandoned since 2018. The cost is already great, but who doesn't love a discount for buying 10 or more? Oh, and in case you were wondering, I did try contacting them at Amazon to have them give me a direct contact to them, but they referred me back to their abandoned site. And so overall, I love this silicone mold because it is the very first silicone mold I use and I love the way the concrete vessels look. Plus, I got over 100 or more uses out of it without any problem. Now I know some people have issues with warping, but the cost is great, the shipping is fast, and even though this is technically made for resin, Many people love it, including me. Let's move on. Depar Home. I found Depar Home one day while I was reading some posts on one of the do-it-yourself Facebook pages. I hadn't really seen them before, but I thought, hey, the more the merrier. I reached out to them at Depar Home and they told me they offer over 85 different silicone molds and do customization and logo additions for those who are interested. Now, as I said in the beginning, the only criteria I had was the size. And unfortunately, I made a huge ordering error and ordered a smaller version of what I thought I needed to buy. That's an error on my part, not theirs, but let's take a look at their silicone mold first. And here is our first silicone mold made for cement, which traveled all the way from Turkey in five days. Five days, that's fast, wow. It stands at 2.87 inches in height and 2.87 inches in length. It is a thick silicone that seems very good in quality and is pretty perfect. And here are my concrete jars. As you can tell, they look amazing and boy, are they thick and solid. Speaking of thickness, the top rim measures three quarters of a centimeter and gets thicker as it reaches the base. How much did this silicone mold cost? I paid $21 and I paid an additional $25 for shipping. Mm. Now, there is one thing I wasn't crazy about and if you guessed shipping, you are right. Obviously, I would love for the shipping costs to be less, but that's not in their control and might not be a problem for those who live near Turkey. Now, there are a few things I love about this silicone mold. The cost minus the shipping is great, and the quality of the silicone is far superior than the Amazon and AliExpress, and the thickness of the concrete jar itself is awesome. Plus, they do customization and logo work. I mean, I love it. Let's move on. Devon Dotting. Fun fact, if you have ever wondered how to say the name, it's Devon Dotting. Devon, not Devon. Devon. Now, when I reached out to Kate at Devon Dotting, I mistakenly bought a customized silicone mold, not quite realizing that I was going to do such a comprehensive and extensive review. But let me make the comparison as fair as I can and then show you the customization. Before I do that, I wanted to let you know that Devon Dotting makes over 100 silicone molds each week and caters to many art forms, from resin artists, mandala artists, candle vessels, to jesmonite, she does it all. In addition, from time to time, because they're very busy, they do customized molds and logo edition. And guys, this is the cool part. They import their unique brand and recipe of silicone. What? Let's have a look at the silicone mold. Devon Dotting silicone mold traveled all the way from the United Kingdom. Being that my silicone mold was customized, it took 17 days of artistic creation and email correspondence before it was shipped. And once it was shipped, it took 13 days to get here. This silicone mold reaps a concrete jar of three inches by three inches. And the awesome blue silicone is of excellent quality. And in addition, around the top, the silicone is very thick, which helps to protect the longevity of the silicone mold as well as the concrete jar as it dries. What makes this even more special is that the base is not hollow. Rather, it is filled completely with silicone, which makes the cleaning and drying process super easy. For added support, it came with this nice little support strap that helps to keep the silicone mold in place in case it wants to stretch out over time. And here are my concrete jars. They are amazing, solid, with a thickness of a little over a half centimeter, and just what I wanted when I had Kate from Devon Dotting customize my silicone mold. And as I said earlier, I was going to show you the customization. I had Kate add my logo to the silicone mold, which came out awesome. But how much did it all cost? Well, to be fair, had I ordered a similar sized silicone mold from her site, I would have paid $58.92 with shipping. That truly isn't a bad deal because according to Kate, 
and my personal experience thus far, if you take good care of your silicone mold, you should be able to demold 500 concrete jars, give or take 100 or so. But how much did I pay for all the customization? I paid $69.14 for the consultation. I paid $199.18 for the actual silicone mold. That's mine, it's all mine and I paid $13.18 for shipping. So in actuality, I paid $280.50. Now, there is something I wasn't crazy about. Naturally, I would have loved for the cost of the customization to be less expensive. I understand that the silicone is imported and Kate is in a country that has a currency valued higher than the dollar. But let's be honest, we are all concerned about cost. And so, I thought it was important to note that that is something I would have liked to have been different. However, being that the silicone mold is very thick and of excellent quality, I would imagine if I take care of it, it will last me a very cost effectively long time. Now, what do I love? Obviously, I love the logo edition. That came out awesome. In addition, I love the quality of the silicone mold. It is by far one of the best forms of silicone I have seen thus far. That doesn't mean you can't be successful with other silicone molds. No, I'm not saying that at all. Rather, you can tell that there was some extra thought that went into the design of a silicone mold. Because once you've cleaned and dried a silicone mold a hundred times or so, you'll begin to appreciate that there's no hole on the bottom. I also love the fact that she has a huge selection of products to choose from, which are very cost effective for the quality of the silicone. Customization and logo additions are awesome. And lastly, I love the response time that I've gotten from Kate over the 36 email conversations we have had. Now guys, I kid you not, she has responded to me day and night, regardless of our five hour time difference within a two hour time frame each and every time. Kate, that's awesome. Let's move on. Modern Craft Labs. My Modern Craft Labs silicone mold was my second silicone mold that I bought after my Amazon one and well before I decided I would do this review. So when you see the silicone mold, it comes with a lid. Now that wasn't in my criteria, but it was a part of the purchase, so I will show you the entire silicone mold. Anyway, I contacted Kaylin from Modern Craft Labs and she told me that they have four different main shapes with a variety of variances in each size. They don't offer custom shapes, but will be offering custom logos in the near future. That's cool. This silicone mold took 12 days to create and ship all the way from Texas and produces a concrete jar that is three inches by three inches. Oh, I originally ordered a four inch silicone mold thinking I ordered a three inch silicone mold and had to return it. Thankfully, I had no problems returning it and exchanging it for what I wanted. The silicone is excellent and really thick and well made. It has their company name on it, so I never get confused with all of the silicone molds that I have. That might seem trivial, but when you have various silicone molds that somewhat seem similar in color and size, you appreciate the extra effort. Lastly, it was very easy to clean and demold but what makes it even more special is it came with this awesome support brace that holds its form in place on the off chance it starts to bow. This I love. And here are my concrete jars. As you can see, they are awesome with a thickness of a half centimeter. And to my surprise, because I had no clue before, a rounded lip. I originally didn't like the idea of a rounded lip, but I truly love the way it looks and feels now especially with the lid. But how much did it cost? I paid $39 for this silicone mold and $8 for shipping. However, I did order a lid, which was $24.95. So if you add that together, it comes to $68.95. Now, what I'm not crazy about is the fact that they only have four options. I would love for more options, but I'm sure Kaylin and Modern Craft Labs is taking their business in a direction that works best for them, and so that I respect. Now, what I do love is the quality. You can tell that there is a lot of thought that was put into their design process because of their silicone mold quality and support brace. And lastly, I can't deny the returning and exchange process was super simple and much appreciated on my part. That was cool. Let's move on. Sea Art. I reached out to Tran from Sea Art because I noticed how artistic and creative he was. I quickly realized that he too sells silicone molds. Unbeknownst to me, he knew who I was from my YouTube videos, and so when I proposed the idea to review several molds, including his, 
he generously gifted me with an awesome second silicone mold. I'll show you that a bit later. Currently, SeaArt is selling about 30 silicone molds for planters and 10 silicone molds for candle vessels. They offer customization as well as logo additions, and he is currently looking for a partner to sell silicone molds on Etsy. Hint, hint. SeaArt silicone mold traveled all the way from Vietnam and arrived at my doorstep in nine days. The silicone mold reaps a three and three quarters inch by three and three quarters inch concrete jar and is a very good quality silicone that was very easy to demold and not too hard to clean with a little extra love. And here are my concrete jars. They are big and awesome and three quarters centimeter thick. Oh, and remember the gift I told you Tran gave me? Check out this silicone mold. When it first arrived, I thought to myself, oh cool, a nice round jar. But then I demolded it. Look at this concrete owl jar. This is so awesome and cute and even has a marker in the center of the jar for wicking. Love it. But how much did it cost? I paid $27 for the silicone mold and $43 for shipping. Mm, for a total of $70. Now. There are two things I wasn't crazy about. The first, obviously the shipping costs are extremely high, but that isn't Tran's fault. We live very far apart from each other, but I felt it was important to have worldwide representation of silicone molds for those who might be watching this video and not from the United States. And Tran and I have had many conversations about shipping concerns via email, and he understands those concerns and is trying his best to see what he can do on his end to ease the financial blow. However, I assured him that with the 8 billion people in this world, there is enough business for him and his brand because his silicone molds, his art, and his personality are awesome. Now the second thing I wasn't crazy about, that I think the bigger silicone molds needs a brace around it because I did notice some bowing from being so heavy and big. Now, I do have a few workarounds for things like that, so it wasn't a big deal in the end, but it's something worth mentioning. What did I love? Like I said above, Tran has great art, and his silicone molds reap a really thick jar that stands out from the crowd. Plus, he offers customization and logo additions, which is something I'm always looking to do. Let's move on. Shape Makery. I originally wasn't going to buy from Shape Makery. It's not that I don't like them. That's not the reason. The reason? I wanted a complete cylinder look and never personally cared for the tulip shape. And then I thought about it and said, well, wait a minute, this isn't for me, this is for you, the viewer. And if it's all she offers right now that fits my criteria, then buy it. And so I quickly changed gears and purchased my first tulip silicone mold ever. And honestly, I'm so angry at myself because I thought, why didn't I buy this before? I love it. I mean, I truly, truly love it. Anyway, Hannah from Shape Makery started her business with her husband that was going in a different direction, but then life had a different plan. Isn't that the case with everything? Today, Hannah and hubby have six silicone molds with two ready to be released any day now and they will soon be offering custom silicone molds and logos. Pretty cool. The silicone mold I purchased came all the way from California in four days and produces a three inch jar and is made from excellent quality silicone that is stamped with the Shape Makery logo on it. In addition, it's easy to demold and clean. And here are my concrete jars. They are very strong and awesome with a half centimeter thickness around the top. And I cannot deny, they are super cute and my wife loves them. And if she's happy, I'm happy. I know that's cliche, but if the cliche fits, but how much did it cost? I paid $43.25 for the silicone mold and $9.91 for shipping for a total of $53.16. Now, there is one thing I wasn't crazy about, and that was that they had a limited option. But after speaking with Hannah, after several times, I'm very confident that won't be an issue for me or anyone else in the near future. So keep checking in with them. With that said, what I did love is that the jar and the quality of the silicone is excellent. I love that she is focused on growing her business to meet the demand of her customers, who by the way, absolutely adore her, from her 1,245 stellar five-star ratings on Etsy. You can tell that with some added options and customizations, Shape Makery will be an even stronger presence on the silicone mold making scene. Love it.
Let's move on. Canadian silicone mold. Now, when I began, I said this was going to be in alphabetical order. We're gonna do this alphabetically. And naturally, C comes before pretty much everything outside of A and B. What gives? Originally, I was going to do a review on seven different silicone molds, and two days before filming, I see a Facebook post from Canadian Silicone Molds that they are now offering new silicone molds. What the f So I quickly emailed them at CSM and made a frantic introduction and basically begged for them to send me one of their silicone molds that was around three inches as fast as possible, paid for of course. But before I show you the silicone mold and awesome gift they sent me, let me tell you a bit about Canadian Silicone Mold. Christy and Bill sell multiple silicone molds for different varieties and originally started out focusing on molds for resin but have recently started building steam in the candle making business. Let's take a look at the silicone mold that came all the way from Canada shipped in just six days. I purchased my second three inch tulip mold. Like I said, I fell in love. That is of excellent quality with the details of the company name size and location printed directly on the front of the silicone. Again, it might seem trivial, but when you want to know the size or shape of the silicone mold and it's written on the side, you have to say thanks for thinking of me, the customer. In addition, the easy to clean and demold silicone mold came with an awesome support brace to help maintain its shape and form. And now let's look at my concrete jars. These concrete jars are super cute with a half centimeter thickness around the rim. And remember the gift I told you about? Well, quick backstory. I emailed Christy 11 days after I first ordered to find out where my silicone mold was. And she told me that due to Easter and being busy that they had just mailed my silicone mold that day. First I thought, okay, wow, it's taking a long time to mail, especially being something that they readily have available. And then this arrived. They gifted me with a lid, but not just any lid, a customized UpVibe logo lid. Now I have to say, I got a little misty. That's cool. Can someone get me a tissue? That was a very nice surprise. But how much did it cost? I paid $38.69 for the silicone mold, plus $19.89 for the shipping for a total of $58.58. Now there is one thing I wasn't crazy about. On the bottom of my silicone mold, it looks like it wasn't cut completely straight. I'm sure it's an easy fix, but Christy and Bill did tell me that they're always looking to grow, and so why not be totally honest? Now, what I did love, the quality of the silicone mold is great, and the concrete jar itself came out awesome. I also love the customization and logo additions they offer, as well as the fact that they have a huge variety of various products at a really good cost, especially if you're from the United States and obviously Canada. That I love. Okay, now that we have looked at all the silicone molds and the concrete jars, let me tell you my favorite, and then I will share with you a big surprise just for you. Let's be honest, each and every one of these silicone molds are perfectly fine and will produce an awesome concrete jar. I love dealing with all of the vendors and we should support each and every one of them if it fits your personal criteria because they all serve the DIY concrete jar making community in various ways. So saying something is my favorite under these circumstances isn't the right way to put it. Better said, I will share with you what I think works best for me today, might change tomorrow, taking in consideration factors such as shipping costs, silicone mold costs, quality, variety, and customization. Basically what works best for me isn't necessarily best for you. Now, with that said, I must give an honorable mention to the Amazon silicone mold. It's a pretty decent silicone mold for an excellent price. I mean, if you're just starting out or you just enjoy a one style cylinder shaped jar, then this one is a no brainer and something that every concrete candle jar maker should have at least one of. Okay, the one that I think works best for me using the personal criteria today might change tomorrow. This one is tough. Canadian silicone molds. And now, on to the big surprise. Shape Makery, Sea Art, Devon Dotting, and Canadian silicone molds were all kind enough to offer you 
the viewer, an awesome discount to anyone watching this video for the next 30 days. Go get your favorite silicone mold right now and enjoy a discount too. Information and links are in the description. Go check those out and take a look at these videos that are popping up now. They're gonna help you on your concrete candle jar making journey. Until next time, thanks for watching. Ciao.